make a change, be a change, see a change. class, to talk about sexuality, um, and if we don't give them that language, the message is you can't talk about it, and that needs to be fixed. I think that we don't talk about it enough, or if we talk about it, we ov people automatically assume that we're being racist, or that we're being sexist, or that we're being ageist. Once we realized that this was an issue that needed to be addressed, we built a unit around it. And when we were thinking about a culminating project, we realized that the best situation was for those students to then go um, do something with what they learned. Instead of just writing a paper or doing research, go out and make a change in the community. We told the students that they could decide to go out into the community and do something community service oriented. They could research an issue or they could write a book report about the choice unit book that they had studied and discuss how the issue was addressed in the text. Every student who is enrolled in college prep or honors English this year mm -hmm. did this project. Mm -hmm. And that has never happened before to my no, knowledge. That's true. For our project, we decided to raise awareness about different aspects of sexuality. The issue we addressed was um, racism in a elementary school environment. English learners are affected are affected by like um, in Burlington how they are affected and how they can't find jobs just because like they can't speak English. We're presenting on teaching race to fifth graders, so we went to a fifth grade class and we talked about panning, which is pay attention now, which we discussed in class, and we talked about how we identify versus how others identify ourselves. The presentation I'm about to do is um, uh, anti-bullying play. So Maggie and I decided to volunteer at the Vermont Refugee Resettlement Program. We are looking at uh, some disparities that children from low-income households face when they come to BHS. I would say most of my students chose um, to actually make a change, um, which was interesting because it was a much more difficult project. It was much more time consuming, a lot more planning. Um, and you know that was really encouraging to see that you know they they wanted to go for the best possible um, you know project, which would be actually making change. When you do this kind of work, it gets you out into the community, gets the community in to see you. You start to realize that the world is a much smaller place than we think it is, and that we have a lot more in common with each other than we thought. Um, it sounds kind of cheesy, this whole idea of tearing down walls and barriers, but I do think that units like this, that areas of study like this, can do that. I think the Making a Change Night came um, organically out of this unit. I get to see this amazing work that my students do all the time, but often it's confined to the classroom walls. And Burlington as a community, I think, needs to know that our students are doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. They blew me away with how much planning they put into their projects. If they wanted to volunteer someplace, they wrote letters of introduction, they called on the telephone, introduced themselves and said, we'd like to come in and do this, this is what we're doing and here's why. And the community really welcomed our students. We didn't have anybody say no, at least in my classes. For me, it was a great lesson in letting go of control. This whole year, the iPad initiative, everything, it was, it was for me, a large part of let's see what the kids can do, that I do not need to be the generator of the knowledge, the leader of the discussion, that we can turn the focus back to the students and say, talk about what you're interested in, what did you learn? And I think that's what education is all about, giving our students real problems that we don't have the answers mm -hmm. to and allowing them the time and the space and the resources to figure out how do we do this better. I cannot reiterate how impressed I am with the students that we have here at this school and the potential. There is such an untapped potential that we're starting to tap now. 
with community involvement with this outreach kind of learning and I hope we continue to do it because it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm.